All right, get a little zoomed in here. Let's see. I can uh, take this head and gotta get this guy on here. I've cleaned up all my push rods. rod tubes here I cleaned up and I cleaned up all of these guys I'm gonna put them on dry with no permatex that seemed to work for me pretty well last time I always get mixed mixed messages from people about whether they put permatex on stuff or what they're gonna do but This Let's try to get all four at the same time. So four push rod tubes all in at the same time. Okay, that looks somewhat reasonable. Let's see if it's open. My head is actually on there. Tube seems to be okay. Yeah, that'll bolt down. Okay, got that. Now I'm gonna get my hardware, which I have in the other room here. So here's what I got here. Just trying to get the old junk off of here, but I've got eight of these. Uh, put the flat side down. One, two, flat side down. Spec and your head bolts. Supposedly, I looked this up, it's 18 foot pounds. Sorry, I have my torque wrench set to 18 foot pounds. Now I'm going to take this gasket off here. into the push rod tube hole and that was a disaster. Only 40 minutes to get the bolt out of the case. Okay, so I've got, I've got all of my, uh, my washers on there. And I've got eight bolts. I'm gonna stick stuff some paper towel on all these ports in a sec. Got it all tightened down to 18 foot pounds, and then we want to make sure that it's actually compressing on these push rod tubes because also those seals prevent the oil from dripping out because a lot of oil kind of spurts through your push rods as you run the engine. All right, so I'll just 
just tighten these down and then I'll turn it back on once I'm done. Okay, so I got all those bolts on there and now I have this torque wrench set to, it's a little more than 18, but it's supposed to do a little bit of a pattern on this that I've read about. But Definitely can see the permatex starting to ooze a little bit there at the bottom, which is good. That means I've got a good seal there. So what I read is that the head studs are 18 foot pounds and then the actual uh, rocker arm studs are also 18 foot pounds. So this is probably more just make sure everything looks good. I'll go get the rocker arms. Looser. Okay, so that should be good. Now what I'm going to do is I've got my four chromoly push rods. It's funny because two of them just got ever so slightly bent and I was like, well, I just bent them. I just ever so slightly bent them back. They weren't Severely bent or just a little bit bent So what I've got is I'm putting three of the thin shims here because I have ratio rockers So this is what these look like here. So I've got my hardware. These are gonna go on here. Just a little bit of permatex on there. Hmm. Well, that's okay. And these, let's see, I need three. Three of these guys on each one. This is one, two, three on there. And then I got one, two, three on here. Perfect. All right, then take these guys and I just have to make sure that I twisted the right way to get this on there. Okay, so 
that and I set each push rod into the little set the push rods in there so that they not, don't fall out as you bolt it down. See one of these is really pushing the valve hard so maybe I can trim this just a little bit. Well, what you do is you just make sure that things are pushing down pretty hard on it. Hmm, I think I'm going to try to turn this just a little bit. I can hear the compression. really hear the compression kicking in there which is I guess a good sign you can hear the hissing all right so I'm gonna tighten this down and then that should go to uh, also 18 foot-pounds Let's make sure all of these are in their little push rod uh, holder. Critical, otherwise you might bend it. I have to check the geometry on this as soon as I've got it tightened down. But So, let's see what that looks like. Yes, I will have to adjust, do all the adjusting on that, but I think that looks good. So I just wanted to plug up the up the holes, stuff them a little bit with paper towels. So I was told that paper towels are better to use than rags because the paper of a paper towel will, if it got in the engine, it eventually uh, disintegrates and dissolves. Whereas if you get the fibers of the cloth, that can get caught up in stuff. It doesn't uh, disintegrate as well as paper towels. So. Okay, these push rod tubes look good. These look good. Interesting. I think I have to I may have to work on this to get the flat side of the yeah, to get the flat side of the of the valve uh, pusher there. All right, well, I'll pause it there and, and get some more done here.